So we're back with another camera comparison, this time with Blackmagic Design's Ursa Mini 4K, which I will be comparing against Panasonic's Luminix GH5. Everything is as equal as I could make it. Both cameras used a Rokinon 35mm lens, Cine lens. They always had the same f-stop, the same ISO, which was typically 400 because that's their native ISOs for both, and the same white balance. So pretty much same everything wherever I could. So here is the Ursa Mini's 4K ProRes 422 HQ footage. A lot to say. <laughs> Here's their footage ungraded, by the way. Now we've got the GH5's footage. I used V-Log, gives you the most uh, dynamic range, the most color latitude, and it's in the 10-bit 422 that they have there. So here's Ursa Mini graded. I gotta tell you, it was really easy to grade, and the picture looks just like how it looks uh, in real life. So here's GH5's colored footage. They're uh, V-Log colored. It was a little bit hard to work with, I know that, and it didn't look quite like how, uh, how it actually looked in front of the camera. So comparing the two, I think they both look great. I would be very happy using either of them. I can tell that the GH5 doesn't have as good dynamic range as far as luminance. Uh, the blacks, if you look at the phone and the color chart, they're a little crushed. Now we're looking at uh, sharpness here. Both are the exact same as sharpness, so they're very equal there. Moving on to 444. Here's Ursa Mini's 444 ungraded footage. Looks fine to me, honestly. I would possibly consider using Ursa Mini ungraded footage. Uh, it, I think it looks okay out of the camera. Whereas GH5, you cannot use that ungraded footage. It's just way too muddy, way too gray. Like, no color to it. <laughs> oh, now we're looking at the colored footage. Ursa Mini, again, is really easy to color. Looks just like how it looked in real life. And I really enjoyed uh, working with it. Now, the same story for the GH5 as before. It was a little bit harder to work with in post for getting the colors right. It doesn't look quite like how it, how it looked in real life, and the dynamic range uh, isn't as good as Ursa Mini. The, the blacks are kind of crushed down there in the, uh, the color chart and uh, on the phone. See what you think about both. I really can't tell a difference, honestly, between ProRes 444 and 422, so maybe you guys can. Moving on to low light, here we have Ursa Mini's ungraded footage in 422, and it's not great. I can tell there's a lot of noise there. There's kind of a strange flicker, too, with the, the candle. Here's ungraded GH5. <laughs> it's a lot better in low light. You can tell, like, it's, it's a little brighter. Uh, it just looks overall better, uh, in my opinion, as far as ungraded. But uh, here we are now, graded. And I'm going to start taking away candles, too, just to kind of show you how, how the image looks, even, even lower light. But, you know, it's not getting any better. It still has all that noise. Uh, the flicker, the weird light flickering is still there for me. So I just would not use this footage. I, I would hate it. Uh, I would reshoot it if, if I had to have a scene in low light. Now we've got GH5's low light footage. I'm going to start taking some cameras away, some candles away too. But I really like how this looks in low light. The, I mean, the noise is a little distracting, but I'd be okay using this kind of footage. I mean, I, I would always want to use uh, better lighting than just a couple candles, but I would be happy with this footage. I really like how the color turned out too, actually, for uh, even in, in the low light. B both the GH5 and the Ursa, looked, the colors looked good in low light, but I mean, really the big thing was just the noise factor. So here's the side-by-side -side with both colored. I really like the GH5 footage. It looks so much better than the Ursa's. The noise is just so distracting in the Ursa Mini. I, I don't know if that's why it, it looks a lot sharper in the GH5, but I don't know, it look, just it looks so much better. And then when we zoom in, just the noise is very apparent for both. The noise on the Ursa Mini is very colorful and, and more noticeable and uh, definitely worse. So here we are, here's uh, Ursa Mini's 444 ungraded. So Ursa Mini's 444 color graded. Again, big fixed noise pattern. Uh, problems there, and strange flicker, which I really don't like. GH5, you can still tell there's some noise, but I, I like the image. I would definitely be fine using an image like this. I, I wouldn't be too worried about the noise. So side by side, I mean, 
I think the GH5 is so much better. There's there's not as much of that weird flicker going on. Like, yeah, the weird flicker is really annoying there in the Ursa Mini. I think the highlights look better. The noise is better. Just everything's really good with it. So GH5 definitely takes the cake as far as low light performance, in my opinion. Okay, here we are. So it's daytime again. I've actually left the house. <laughs> Let's see how this stuff looks uh, outdoors. So. Ursa Mini, even when ungraded, I really like how it looks. It, it looks so nice out with this outdoor shot. And then GH5s, you know, it's it's their ungraded vlog footage. It's not really usable, but uh, here here it is for reference. Ursa Mini's 4K footage, their 422 footage, it just graded so nicely. It was it was a breeze to grade this, and it looked nice instantly as soon as I uh, just kind of played with the luminance and got the colors how I liked it. Now we compare that to GH5s, which I'm, I'm really not happy with how the colors turned out on it, and it was a lot harder to work with, honestly. Yeah, just I, I wish it turned out better. It, it was weird. It was, I think it had something to do with the sunlight coming in through the trees there. It, it just kind of had this weird effect of, of the highlights on the image, and just kind of made it hazy in a way, if you can see. Here we've got the side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, the GH5 is definitely a lot hazier and the colors weren't as true, and yeah, I just was not as happy with it. And zoomed in though, <laughs> I think they both look fine. Skin tones definitely look better on the Ursa Mini. Really loving those. Again, Ursa Mini's graded outdoors. I love how everything looks. The, the greens are very nice. It's exactly how the, how the greenery looked. I love how my skin tones looked. I like how my, my blue shirt looks. It, that's, you know, it was all very easy to grade. But I just want to say it was it was a lot harder to work with for the GH5, and in the end, I still wasn't terribly happy um, with how the image could look when I then have the Ursa Mini's footage to compare it against, which it was so easy to work with and turned out so nice. So yeah, there's something weird about GH5 shooting in daylight, shooting when the sun rays kind of hit it a weird way, or I, I can get good outdoor shots sometimes with it, but then other times, yeah, it makes the image kind of hazy. It kind of screws with the colors. I want to know if other people are having this problem too. I tried looking into it as well. It's not a, I've, I know there's an IR cut filter, infrared uh, filter that some cameras have. Neither of these cameras have it, so the Ursa Mini should be having the same problem if that's the issue. You know, I was so concerned about how the GH5's footage turned out that I actually shot again another day, same time of day. Uh, and same settings and everything. I, I just wanted to see if I could maybe make it look a little bit better and make it look like the, the Ursa Minis, but it honestly didn't. So I tried again. I made sure the camera settings were, were set to the same way that the Ursa Mini had it and set to make this image look as good as possible. And again, I just had this weird hazy image with the highlights and I, I couldn't get the greens to look quite right. That being said, I'm, I'm happy with both images. I'm happier with Ursa Minis. So here's a green screen test. And as always, I have to do something really stupid in front of a green screen because I can't help myself and just do something really cringeworthy. Also, I uh, wanted to look really grungy for this. I, I shot this at a different time. So yeah, I'm a little grosser looking with a beard and longer hair. Anyway, yeah, here's the uh, GH5. Now let's get to Kian. So the Ursa Minis was a little bit easier to key. You can tell it, it was just a quick key and it turned out okay. It needs a little bit of work. Now with the GH5, this is just a basic grade and really basic keying. The keying didn't turn out too great on the GH5. So side by side. The Ursa Mini was a lot better for green screening, and if given the choice, I would definitely choose the Ursa Mini, and uh, shooting at 444 especially to uh, get a good, good key. Now the slow motion test. Slow motion is way better on the GH5. The, the image looks so much better. The colors look better. It can shoot even slower at 180 frames a second, whereas the uh, Ursa Mini can only shoot up to 120. And just everything about the GH5 is better as far as slow-mo, so definitely give it to them for 
shooting anything at a high frame rate. In the end, I really like both cameras. I, I like them both for different ways. I think they're both very capable at shooting excellent images. But as far as what we just looked at and what, what I shot in this test shooting, I would say Ursa Mini gives a better image, uh, easier to color grade, and then nicer looking after color graded when shot in well-lit conditions. The GH5 is way better at, at low light, hands down. The Ursa Mini is a little bit better at outdoor and daylight, but uh, I've, I've shot good things with the GH5 outdoors. I don't know if the, the sun kind of creeping in through the trees kind of affected the image, but the, the Ursa Mini was definitely better. Uh, I really don't know what the issue is there, but it wasn't there with the Ursa Mini and it was with the GH5. So the Ursa Mini is definitely better at uh, shooting outdoors, at least in the instance there where I was doing the side-by-side. -side. Slow motion definitely goes to the GH5 way better. And green screening, I would by far use the Ursa Mini because it has 444 color space and it was just easier to, to kind of grade and to, to then key out but I think both are capable at uh, passable green screening, I, I suppose. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think if you've had different results uh, with shooting with either camera. I'd love to know what you hear. Uh, honestly, I, I use the GH5 all the time now, and this doesn't sway me. I'm still going to stick with the camera, and I love it. But uh, when given the opportunity, oftentimes I do shoot with the Ursa Mini when I, when I want an image that I really want to mess with in post and, and color grading. So I hope that kind of gives you guys an idea of just what these cameras are and what they're capable of, what they can do. So I'll see you next time.